What's up Space Apes? This is Hanley. Thank you for watching my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some research that I've been looking at on lowering blood pressure with fasting. Just drinking water, maybe adding some electrolytes. We could do long-term fasts. That's multi-day fasts up to, I've even heard of a guy on the internet, he did a 40-day fast. It's called the Jesus Fast. Or something I like to do on a daily basis is intermittent fast. That means I keep the amount of time that I'm eating contained to at least 12 hours. So that's 12 hours a day, no eating, only drinking water. I like to tighten that feeding window up to six hours, even one hour is good. So, let me hop into some of the research. Um, the first two articles I'm going to talk about are done with the poor rats. Um, they did a caloric restriction lowers blood pressure in spontaneously hypertensive rats. So they basically showed that um, calorie restriction without sodium restriction, meaning that they were still having some salt, reduce the blood pressure in these hypertensive rats. Uh, another is caloric restriction and intermittent fasting alter the measure of heart rate and blood pressure variability in rats. Um, kind of the same deal. They did, some rats did straight fasting, some did intermittent fasting, and again they showed that the blood pressure um, was reduced in these rats. Over time, I'm going to post all of the links or the citations of these studies down below. So check that out. Here's an interesting one. Maybe y'all remember a biosphere from back in the 90s. Well, these 12 people that lived inside of the biosphere, they ate a diet that was only about 10% fat and they were eating about 1600 calories a day. And they all had significantly lowered blood glucose, total leukocyte count, cholesterol, and blood pressure. So something to think about that's a feather in the cap of the high-carb, raw vegan crowd. What else do we have here? Acute effects of short-term fasting on blood pressure, circu circulating noradrenaline and efferent sympathetic nerve activity. What the hell does all that mean? Well, circulating noradrenaline, that has to do with a neurotransmitter that's generally associated with sympathetic nervous system activity. The sympathetic nervous system is crudely the part of your nervous system that ramps you up, okay? So we think sympathetic activation high blood pressure. Cortisol, sympathetic, high blood pressure, noradrenaline, adrenaline, stress. These are all things that are kind of in that realm. What was really interesting about this study is they showed that short-term water-only fasting lowered blood pressure but did not affect the noradrenaline or the sympathetic nerve activity, meaning that Water-only fasting didn't seem to have a sympathetic nervous system effect, but it did lower blood pressure. So that's an interesting thing to think about. Not really sure what the ramifications are. What else we have here? The effect of intermittent fasting on blood pressure variability in patients with newly diagnosed hypertension or pre-hypertension. This one followed people who... Um, had hypertension, prehypertension, and they took their blood pressure throughout different times of the day while they were at home, while they were working, and ABPM, ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. I don't know what that means. Anyways, they had these patients fast, and they continued to measure their blood pressure at different times in the day. Actually, these people were intermittent fasting. 
<coughs> Excuse me. So what was interesting here is these people had lowered blood pressure in the office at work, but not at home. So I don't know if that had to do with their feeding schedule. I don't know if that had to do with the different stress levels. Maybe they just were less stressed at home, so they normally had lower blood pressure levels. I know when I get home from work, my blood pressure tends to be a little bit higher. Anyways, that's what's up with that study. Lowered blood pressure at the office, but not necessarily at home. Overall, the total was a lower blood pressure again. And uh, here's two studies done by the True North people. They're a fasting center in California. Both of these studies showed drastic reduction in blood pressure. Some people in their study had a blood pressure that was up to 190 over 90 it's very high and they were able to drop their top number 190 by 60 points in a water fast amazing and then they did another study with borderline high blood pressure people who had blood pressures between 120 and 140 as their systolic and they after a two week average water fast dropped their blood pressure down to 96 over 67. So currently my blood pressure is just had the lowest reading I've ever done and you know and I've been really tightening up my diet and I've been fasting a lot more and I've been drastically reducing the amount of caffeine I've been drinking. I'm aiming to just stop drinking caffeine completely because caffeine gives me high blood pressure. Period. It just does. Anyways, I had a 101 over 77, which I'm really happy about. But getting it down to like 90 over 65, that would, I think, even be better. So that's what I'm going for. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. We're going to be doing more of these literature reviews in the future. Tell me what you think about them. Is this a good format for a video? Is that boring? Um, do you want to know more about just me? Do you want to me to do research for you? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Y'all have a nice day. Peace.